When it comes to Hulk furniture, there are variations to everything and a whole combination of pieces you could fit to your Hulk. Do you go Almirai or false Almirai? Braided Muse Jess or leather? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one that came before any of these, the traditional Jess. Encompassing both the anklet and the Jess, the traditional Jess offers a really nice, sort of quick and simple approach to getting furniture on your hawk. It doesn't require any kind of eyelet or grommet. The whole thing is made from a single piece of leather. And in theory, you could make a quick set with nothing but a strip of leather and a pair of scissors. I will admit the traditional Jess has its flaws. You couldn't have your hawk fitted with a set if she was regularly flying free because the entire thing would need removing and then how do you take hold of her in emergency situations if she has no anklets to fit a pair of flying dresses to? But I do think it is still really worth learning how to make a set of traditional dresses. I think they are great when picking up a new hawk from a breeder that has likely never been handled by a person when you pick it up. So by having a pair of traditional Jess is ready, it means she can be caught up and have her furniture fitted within seconds, ready to go into the travel box to calm down again. It just really helps to reduce some of that stress. It's also very useful in emergency situations. Say you are out and about with your hawk and an anklet breaks. If you haven't got all the correct tools and a fresh pair of eyelets to hand, a traditional Jess can quickly be made up and fitted to act as a, a really great temporary solution. And lastly, falconry has many traditions, and as time goes by, it's our job to uphold the traditions of falconry. And knowing these traditional crafting skills is important in my mind. So let's go make a pair of traditional dresses. <laughs> So to begin with, I'm going to go through um, some of the tools that I will be using for this. Um, so obviously you've got the leather. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail on leather in this video, but this is uh, kangaroo hide and it is pre-stretched. Then I'm going to need a ruler. Now, my favourite kind of ruler is you get these clear ones and it's got a, a steel plate along the cutting edge of it. So whatever you put it on, you can see exactly what's underneath it whilst you're cutting along it, but I need a new one because mine is falling to bits. So for this, I'm gonna have to just use a normal metal one. And then you need some kind of pliers, uh, a good sharp pair of scissors. Uh, I'm gonna be using a pen, uh, a scalpel blade, or I think a lot of people call them exacto knives, or that might be a different thing. Um, a hole punch and then I've also got a swivel just to take some small measurements from so this is the swivel that these jesses will be used on so they'll be fit to these swivels now for this one I'm gonna be making a guide everything I do on this guide you could do directly onto the lever but the reason I'm making a guide is because it means I then have one set thing that I can follow that I can replicate onto the lever and I can make as many of these jesses exactly the same size um, as many as I want. So that's why I'm doing a guide first and then I'm going to keep that guide so then in the future I can make many more that are all going to be exactly the same size. So I've got just a piece of paper, um, tracing paper, and I've cut it actually to the length of the piece of leather, so I know that this is exactly how much I have to work with. And to begin with, I'm just going to draw out the length of the Jess. So I'll do it along there. So just one single line down there. And then I want my Jess to be maybe two centimetres thick. So add that on there as well. So about there. Now. I mean, a lot of people will measure every single tiny little thing with a ruler. Um, I've kind of just got used to doing things by eye. Um, I don't think the bird really cares whether you are exactly two centimetres or 1.8 centimetres. It doesn't matter massively. And then the reason 
other reason I'm doing it on this piece of paper rather than straight on the lever is because it lets me measure it directly to the bird's leg just a little bit easier than trying to take this full floppy piece of lever and wrap it around a bird. This is just a bit easy to get around. So I'm not going to use a bird for this video. Um, I'm actually just, I've got a piece of pipe here that is going to stand in for our bird's tarsus. So I'm going to wrap it around, but I'm not going to wrap it around straight like that so that the end is right against the the pole i'm going to leave maybe a couple of centimeters or maybe i don't know what four or five centimeters on that side so then i'm just going to mark on both sides right. right so So then I'm going to join those up and that gives us the diameter of the bird's tarsus. So one's there, one's there, there and there. Okay. So now with a traditional Jess, there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could either just leave it entirely like this and then start going to the next steps. Or I like to add a bit of a swell around where the bird's tarsus is actually going to be. Because if that bird is going to bait, um, I just, I prefer to have a bit more width of lever to sort of distribute that pressure of them baiting around the rest of their tarsus, um, rather than having it concentrated in one small area. So I'm going to just add a little bit more. I'm maybe going to double the size of this. So if we, we add, see, so this is where Right, I'm going to swap to my see-through ruler because this is where I need... It also got this wonderful handy little guide, so I'm just going to do two squares on each side. Just to give it a bit of a swell. And then I'm just going to have to just join, sort of join those up like that. Again, I mean, there's, there's ways that you could do this like really accurately, but to be honest, I don't think the bird really cares that much, as long as there's just not sort of harsh edges. So there's our swell, which will go around the, um, I think more accurately, the tarso metatarsus. Um, and then I'm going to bring the end to a point. So I'm going to measure up. Let's go on this side. Let's go four centimetres, just so I've got my points nice and accurate. And then just down into the middle, which again is difficult with a solid ruler. This is, this is why you should get a see-through ruler, because I can see everything that is going on underneath it. So I'll bring that down to a point. And then the other side to meet it. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side from the swell straight into a bit of a point. Right, so next we need the swivel, and there are three bits we have to measure. So up here, on the point after the swell, we need a slit. So I'm going to put a little marker on either end of the swivel. And then again on the other side of the swell as well. And then lastly, we need to measure again the swivel down towards the end of the jess. Right, so then I can quickly cut this out. Right, so now I've got my guide. Um, so now it means every single Jess I make will be exactly the same. It also means that you can find out the most efficient way to use your lever. So I could put that on there 
and then I know that I could go and put, once I've drawn around it, go and put one another one there, um, or I could see if it would work this way, which I'm not going to do it that way because it's leaving me all this extra length here. It just about fits in this direction. So I'm going to put it on there and then draw around it. And so I have to be careful and try and hold it as still as possible. Right, so I've got it drawn out. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit wibbly and wobbly here and there, because when I'm cutting it out, I'm still gonna be using the ruler. So it's, it's just a guide. It's not like a full on proper accurate template. Um, if you want it to be really fancy, you could take this design um, and go and have a, a metal worker cut it out of a piece of metal like your ruler uh, or uh, laser engrave a piece of wood um, and then you've got a bit more of an accurate thing that you can more securely hold down to draw around. Um, but for now, it'll do. I need to make take the uh, adding the measurements for the swivel. So I'm going to do that quickly before I've chopped the entire thing out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press my guide thing back over the top and I'm just going to push with the pen into the lever to make some indentations in the lever so I know exactly where I need to be cutting out for the swivel. And then next, I, to be honest, I just find it easier to go round corners in leather with a good sharp pair of scissors. So I'm going to swap to my scissors to cut out the swell. So now we've got our Jess um, and then I'm not going to do it for this because it's not going in an actual bird, it's just going on there. But this is now where I'd add, start to add some little frills just along this swell on the top and the bottom, just to allow the jest to sort of spread over the toes and the tarsus um, so they don't have a piece of leather digging in. If you wanted to be really fancy, you could add an extra uh, piece, uh, an extra bit of length of leather and then just roll it over so it's a bit smoother around the tarsus for the bird. But I'm gonna skip over that stage because it's not actually going on a bird. And so next, I need to punch out my holes for the swivel and to put the jess through itself. So this is why I marked them earlier. Um, and I'm using a hole punch, even though I'm going to do a slice all the way through the middle, just because I find a hole punch um, sort of closes the cut um, of the lever a bit nicer than just purely putting a slit in the lever with um, the blade. I feel like just putting a slit in the lever with the blade um, can potentially leave it to tear or fray, um, whereas you doing hole, using a hole punch on either end, I find just sort of closes it up a little bit more nicely. So now I have to, to very carefully join these holes up. So I usually start with one end and I don't go the entire way. I stop before I get to the other hole and then from the other hole, I just finish off the slice just to make sure I don't go over it. There is roughly the finished product. Um, of course, you can add your frills in to the swell. And then again, it's not a, le it's not a video about leather, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but this is also where I would then add some kind of treatment, uh, some kind of beeswax or something onto the leather just to keep it um, a bit softer and a bit waterproof for when the bird starts going in the bath. Um, but it's time to actually fit it. So we're going to fit it to the pole here. Um, and to be able to, so you can follow what I'm doing whilst fitting it, we're going to label the slits. So, so on the left, I'm going to label it one, in the middle two, on the far end three. So we always go smooth side to the tarsus. So the lever will always have 
um, two different sides to it. So there's the smooth side, which would actually be the, the outside of the animal it's come from, and then the, the more rough side where it's been sort of tanned. Um, so I'm always going to go smooth side in, just to keep it nice and smooth on the bird's leg. Um, and A, so, well, the whole pointy end here, first off, is going to go through B. So A kind of goes through B. So A goes through B, and then using the pliers, I'm going to send them the pliers through A, through B, so there, and then open them up. So they're now sticking all the way through here, and the end that is, num that is C is going to come here. I'm going to pinch, and then this we pull all the way through there. And there we have our fitted traditional Jess. So we we'll can attach the swivel. So there is our traditional Jess and swivel. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. If you have any suggestions of other bits of furniture you would like to see being made, then please do let me know. I would also like to know who has and who hasn't ever made or even used a set of traditional Jesses. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, uh, become a member to support me and the birds. And for now, thank you for watching.